I'm Mark Newson. This is my office where I work in London, in Victoria, and uh, I'm a designer, industrial designer. And uh, I'm looking at a kind of a book, really. This is the first printed pages of the book project that I've been working on with Tashin for about the last seven years. So it's quite a momentous moment. So what I have here are the first proofs of the book. In fact, they may be even beyond proofs because they're printed on, on the actual paper that the, um, the paper stock that the book will be using. So I think it's safe to say this is, this is a kind of an unbound version of the actual book itself. As you can see, it's kind of huge, you know, 600 pages, very comprehensive, contains pretty much every, I would say 95% of the stuff that I've, that I've ever done since the beginning of my career. As you can see, you know, it's going really right back to my days at art school in 1984, where you can see I was, you know, already becoming preoccupied with, with watches and even sort of strange pieces of furniture. And uh, 1986, where I had my very first exhibition, and it's interesting to point out that I, um, particularly within the context of sort of the design art phenomenon, that, that uh, phenomenon or you know whatever you want to call it, you know I was designing furniture as, as sculpture I guess, at the beginning of my career, not because I sensed any particular interest in those kinds of objects, but because it's all I could do really. I had to make these things as one-offs. Um, one of the first pieces, of course, was the Lockheed Lounge. But that was the very, very early Lockheed Lounge. That was, that was a piece that, that I did before the one that became popular. But, you know, you can see here I was really obsessed with the idea of kind of making things myself. I mean, I'm not obsessed, but I, but, I, but I was literally making things myself. Literally, I was doing everything from upholstery to machining to welding, and you name it. Um, here we have a picture of the Lockheed Lounge, which is perhaps one of my better known pieces dating from 1988. Um, and there are these fantastic, funny little anecdotal bits in the book. Um, you know, there's a, there's a picture of the Vitra miniature of the Lockheed Lounge. There's a, a picture of Madonna in one of her videos. There's a picture of um, a fantastic film called Team America, where they, there's a picture of my, where they actually use my Lockheed Lounge as a, as a kind of a, a, mini, a mini prop in one of the things. Um, and, and just, you know, for all of, all of the pieces of, of furniture that I've kind of done over the years. Um, and, and what's, I guess, interesting is that I've, I've become known, I guess, in the early days of my career as a, as a kind of a, a furniture designer. But looking at my book, it becomes evident to me that uh, furniture really represents a, a very small part of of, uh, of what I've done over the last 25 years. Um, although there's a reasonable amount there. Quite a lot of stuff, quite a lot of limited edition pieces, I guess. <laughs> Something that I've become known for over the years. And, and again, important to point out that the reason I did limited edition pieces was not because I wanted them to be limited necessarily it was because I couldn't make more than a certain number of them physically. Of course, when I got to the point where I was having exhibitions at places like the Gagosian Gallery, um, you know, things had changed a little bit. And I was afforded a little more luxury in terms of the kinds of ways that I could work. So the pieces that I showed at Gagosian over the years um, are limited for, for other reasons. <laughs> And of course, I've designed interiors, architecture over the years, recording studios, restaurants, fashion boutiques, um, shop concepts for various people, um, hotel interiors, restaurants. Again, this was a, a big job that I designed in New York in 2004, I think. I can't remember, 2003, the Lever House restaurant. It's quite a well-known restaurant. It was a well-known restaurant. Other boutiques in Japan. This was one of my favorite projects, and it's a boutique I designed for Azadine Alai, who's a very close friend in Paris. It was a small boutique for him to sell shoes. Um, 
And of course, a lot of the work that I've done for Qantas over the years, Qantas have been one of my biggest clients. I'm the, the, the creative director for Qantas. So I designed the aircraft interiors, most notably the A380, all of their airport lounges, this being the biggest one in Sydney.